Yo, what is going on guys? It is Burns and we got some week 8 Monday night football action here in Buffalo in AFC East division rivalry as the undefeated 7-0 Buffalo Bills host the New England Patriots who currently sit at 4-2-1 on the season. Bills looking to keep the unbeaten streak alive and looking to stay atop the AFC East. The Patriots obviously looking to uh, retake over. The AFC East, they currently sit in third behind uh, our Bills and the Miami Dolphins. So this is a big game. The Patriots are a good team, obviously. They've had uh, some struggles, you know, two losses and a, and a tie so far. Not necessarily what you expect to see out of them. But Tom Brady's going to have this team ready, so you know both sides of the ball for Buffalo are going to have to step up if you want to get a W in this one. Improved to 8-0. LaShawn McCoy getting the spotlight this week. You see what he did last week, just missing out on an AFC Player of the Week as Kalen Balazs ended up winning that with 188 yards and two touchdowns. But McCoy, not too far behind at 183-2 and two last week. And here comes Tom Brady, <laughs> probably the best quarterback ever, and you see what he's doing this year. 2,049 yards, 15 TDs. One pick, that one pick came in the loss to the Miami Dolphins. First play of the game, it's a play-action pass, and Trent Murphy gets around the right tackle and gets his 20th career sack, his first one of the game right here, and it's going to be a third and 12 now because of that sack. Brady's going to set, and he's going to fire on the left side, finding his reliable receiver, Julian Edelman, as Brady's two for two to start the day. Getting the first down right there with a 25-yard reception. Edelman, uh, that torn ACL all of last year, Looking strong so far. And here, later on in the drive, first and 10, going deep to Eric Decker is Tom Brady. And Eric Decker is able to haul that one in. So the Patriots threatening early down to the 13th, second and seven. Brady, he's going to find his receiver right there. And that is going to be down to about the one yard line and then on first and goal Brady's just going to fire on the slant route he's going to find Cordero Patterson for the touchdown Brady his 16th touchdown pass of the year puts the Pats up 7-0 early in this one and here comes the rookie sensation Josh Allen uh, no touchdowns no picks last week did have a big game passing wise though 1,864 yards for Josh Allen in this one he's probably the leading candidate for rookie of the year at this point but he's going to have a work cut out for this one in for him in this one already down 7 nothing and Allen and the Bills go 3 and out right there he's not able to complete the pass as it was knocked out by the defender so back to Brady in the offense and working to Dwayne Allen no Rob Gronkowski in this one he was injured in the game against the Miami Dolphins uh, he I forget exactly what the injury was but he's not playing in this one so Dwayne Allen's going to be the primary tight end for the Pats first and 10 and out of the backfield is the Super Bowl hero against the Atlanta Falcons, James White. Brady's 8-for-8 eight eight, looking really good in this one so far. He's going to get White for 9 yards out of the backfield. Shotgun set, White in the backfield once again. Brady, he's going to fire for Eric Decker, wearing Randy Moss's old number, and he's making some moves. Second and 10 now. And it's going to be a handoff to James White, and he's going to get into the second level, try to do a spin move before he's finally brought down. So it's this third and 10 from the 22-yard line, and the screen pass is incomplete. So the Pats have to settle for a Gostowski field goal, and it is up and good. Pats go up 10-0. 125 to 125-0 is the advantage for the Patriots in the passing game so far. So let's go back to the running game. LaShawn McCoy had that big game last week. He's trying to get going. His second carry of the ball game goes for five yards there. Again, you see what he's done on the season. 71 carries for 603 and six touchdowns. Very good season considering he missed three games. Third and five, Allen's going to find Corey Coleman coming across the middle for his first completion. One for four, not a great start for Josh Allen, but we'll see if he can get into a bit of a rhythm now. Handing off to LaShawn McCoy, first and 10 from the 46. He's going to pick up a nice little gain right there, gets six yards, makes it second down and four as LaShawn McCoy, uh, now after a sack, has Josh Allen in a third down and 12. And coming across the field is Zay Jones, one of the Bills' fan favorite this year. He's been a great receiver, and I think he'll develop into a really good receiver. Uh, you know, he's our probably our third best outside receiver right now, but Des Bryant's probably not going to be coming back to this team next year. So Zay Jones probably going to be taking over that responsibility once Des is gone. Second down and 10, Allen's going to find Kelvin Benjamin just re-signed to a big contract last week. Four more years of Kelvin Benjamin in Buffalo as he's picking up the first down right there. Now second and 11, Allen is going to look, and he's going to throw it behind Des Bryant, and it's intercepted by Stephon Gilmore. Down at the two-yard line, 
Uh, they give him forward progress, I guess. His progress uh, kept him out of the end zone as Bryant's able to tackle him inside the five-yard line, but a bad throw by Josh Allen, his fifth interception of the year. Gives the Pats the ball, and you see they aren't able to do much with it. So good field position now for the Bills after the interception for Josh Allen. We'll see if he can keep... Uh, you know, building up a bit of a rhythm. That interception obviously derailed it. Second and one. It's going to be LaShawn McCoy finding some room on the stretch play. He's going to pick up the first down as we reach the end of the first quarter. First and 10 from the 37. Allen. Deep drop here. And he's being chased. He hit. And he's fumbles. And oh my word. That is not what you like to see. Danny Shelton, the former Washington Husky and Cleveland Browns, able to jump on that one. Allen was trying to get rid of it, and he was spun around as he threw it, and the ball just squirted out backwards, and Danny Shelton's able to jump on it. So now it's good field position for Tom Brady, which is never a, a sentence you want to hear if you're the opposing team. James White's going to pick up eight yards right there on his first carry of the drive. Second down and two, Brady. And he's just going to hand to James White again, and look at him making people miss. He's going to pick up the first down, 23 yards so far in this one for James White as that's going to be another Patriots first down. Kyle Williams on the tackle as he is back from his abdominal tear. Good news for the Bills, but doesn't seem to be helping as look at James White making people miss. Micah Hyde can't make the tackle. No one to... Oh, my word. Just the defense for the Bills is just falling apart. Vontae Davis catches him at the one-yard line. Probably should have been a touchdown as he juked out about half the defenders on the Bills' defense. Third down and goal. Brady with about... An eternity to throw and just finds Julian Edelman in the corner of the end zone. He's able to get his feet down. That's going to be a touchdown. And just like that, your undefeated Bills are down 17-0 at home to the New England Patriots. So, why not go to back to what's been working all year? Hand it to LaShawn McCoy. He gets seven yards. Third down and three. Now split backfield for Josh Allen. And he's going to dump it to Charles Clay out of the backfield. He was part of that split backfield. And he's going to get a pretty nice gain right here. Third down and four now for Josh Allen. And he's going to fire on the slant route in traffic. Finds Zay Jones with a nice catch. Now first and ten. Bills are driving down to the 40-yard line. Probably need some points on this drive. And here's Taiwan Jones, mainly a kick return guy, but he is the third running back right now with Chris Ivory hurt. Third and five. And setting and firing for Charles Clay is Josh Allen on the curl route. And... Charles Clay is able to pick up the first down right there. So down to the 26, now down to the 20 with a third down and four. Allen stepping up in the pocket. He's just going to take off and run. Got the first down, and he dives down before his hit. Good job by Josh Allen by getting down and not fumbling, getting the first down right there. But it's a third and 13 from the 18. And LaShawn McCoy out of the backfield. Did he get the first down? Sure looked like it. And he did. They're going to give it to him. He's down to the four-yard line, his third catch of the ball game. And now a second down and goal for the Bills. Allen is going to take a quick drop, fire on the slant route. He's got Kelvin Benjamin for the touchdown as the Bills are finally on the board. Definitely needed a, a score on that drive, a touchdown, uh, if you ask me. So it's down to 17-7 now with 2.20 to go in this one, but back to Tom Brady and this Pats offense who has had no trouble moving the ball, and here goes Dwayne Allen down to the 25-yard line. He slipped about three tackles right there. Brady's 11 for 16, 186 yards, two TDs already in this first half as we reach the two-minute warning. Brady is going to find his receiver, Julian Edelman, over the middle. Another first down, down to the 11 as he's approaching 200 yards passing already on the day. Big day for the MVP candidate, Tom Brady. Second and three, Brady. He's going to find a wide open receiver. That is Rex Burkhead with no one around him in the end zone as the Pats go back up by 17 points, 24-7 your score. With a minute left now, Josh Allen has third and 10, and he shrugs off a sack and then fires for Kelvin Benjamin, who's able to make the catch, but is tackled short of the first down. Now back to the Pats, third and 10, 43 seconds after the Bills had to punt. Brady is standing in the pocket and just chucks it out of bounds over the head of Rex Burkhead. So the Bills getting the ball back with 30, about 30 seconds left and three timeouts. We'll see what they can do with it. Second and 11, Allen is going to find his receiver. That's Charles Clay on the seam route, able to box out Patrick Chung. Now first and 10, only 10 seconds to go. Allen's going deep. He's got Kelvin Benjamin, who steps out of bounds at the 31-yard line and sets up this long 48-yard field goal for Steven Hauschka, and it is up. And it is good as Steven Hauschka, yet to miss on the year, knocks through another field goal. So 24-10, your score at the half, New England on top. The Bills sitting at 7-0. Kind of a shock in this one. I knew this would be a tough game. Obviously, it's always going to be a tough game when you come into a game against the Pats. But you see they have two takeaways, averaging 8.5 yards of play. Just 
outplaying us overall. And since this is a Monday night game, we don't have any updated scores for you. But let's just take a look around the league at all the scores that happened on Sunday. Obviously, Dolphins Texans is Jersey born. Uh, the other user in this franchise. If you want to see that, go check out his channel. That is up as well. And now just looking around the league, you see some of the scores. Big win for Philly over Jacksonville, 35-24. The Redskins get the win over the Giants, 31-28. And you see them highlighting right there the Colts getting the win over the Raiders 20 to 13. Some other games, uh, SF over Arizona. Uh, the Rams blow out Aaron Rodgers and the Packers 42 to 31. And look at that score. True Breeze and the Saints take it to the Vikings in Minneapolis 56 to 3. My word, the Vikings got their. They, they just got to hand it to them, man. That is brutal. But we're back here in Buffalo as the Bills are trying to make a comeback and trying to stay undefeated. Second and eight, and it's Kelvin Benjamin on the curl route, making the catch and falling down at the 45-yard line. Allen's got 200 yards. Not a terrible game for him. Just some unfortunate breaks uh, so far. It's a third and 12 from the 48. Definitely need some points on this drive. You don't want to give the Pats a chance to go up 21 points. Third and 12, and Allen's going to find Charles Clay on the post route. Big gain right there down to the 27-yard line. Sets another first down. Charles Clay, his fourth catch of the ball game. Second down and six, and it's Spencer Ware, the free agent pickup from a few weeks ago. And he's bowling his way down inside the five-yard line, taken down at the five, actually. He's got four carries in this one. Only 19 yards, but he's been a nice power back in relief of LaShawn McCoy. And speaking of McCoy on the toss, he's going to try to get in the end zone, and they say he got it. He was shoved down, but he was able to stretch that ball out and get into the end zone, as this is just a one-score ball game. What was 17-0 is now 24-17 as we head back to Tom Brady. We're a little under halfway through this third quarter as James White's going to pick up the first down right there. He's got 7 for 73. Been tough to stop all night long. And that sets up this play-action pass for Brady. No pass rush for the Bills. He's going deep on the right side. I believe that's for Decker. No, that was for Chris Hogan. And Micah Hyde's able to just field that one like a punt. And he's got some room to run out across the 40, taken down at the 45-yard line. Micah Hyde with the big interception. And the Bills have a chance to tie this ball game up, only down seven in a short field for Josh Allen in this offense. But it's third and eight. Allen standing in the pocket. Probably could have stepped up. Fires into double coverage. And that is knocked away by Patrick Chung. He was looking for Kelma Benjamin on the in route. So the Bills can't make anything of that interception by Tom Brady, which was just his second of the year. They have to punt. And it's back to Brady in the Pats offense as James White continues to do work, averaging 10.1 yards of carry so far. Third down and three. And when you're averaging 10 yards of carry, play action passes are pretty effective. And that's going to be... Julian Edelman right there on the comeback route. He was shaken up on the play. First down and 10 now from the 45-yard line. Brady, shotgun set. Going to hand to James White. He's just going to push up the middle. Not even touch until he got to the second level as he's going to pick up seven yards. Second and four. Brady, he's going to set and find Dwayne Allen. I don't think he got the first down, but they give it to him. It looked to me like he was a little bit short, but nonetheless, Pat's on the move once again. Brady finds Dwayne Allen again, who decides to take a nap mid-play. And then he is taken down uh, after a nice little game, going to get the first down. Not sure what he was doing right there. Third down and seven now. Pats threatening another touchdown at the 10-yard line. And Brady's going to find James White, but good pursuit by the Bills. Tremaine Edmonds is there to take him down for no gain. That's going to set up another Pats field goal from Gostowski. And it is up and good. So Patriots go back up 10 points. 27-17 your score as the third quarter is starting to wind down. Only a minute 36 left. First down and 10 for Josh Allen. It's going to be a handoff to LaShawn McCoy on the outside. He's got some blocking, and that's his best run of the ball game. He has struggled getting it going. 15 carries for 50 yards. Definitely not what we saw last week. Nonetheless, it's a nice little game. Now on first and 10, dumping it to Pat DeMarco, the fullback, out of the backfield. And look at the fullback powering ahead for the first down. He broke two tackles right there. Did DeMarco to get that first down. And now it's a third down and 10 for Josh Allen. And he is pressured and fumbles. And it's picked up by the Patriots. And he is tripped up. That could have been a, a recovery for a touchdown right there for Trey Flowers. The third turnover of the day, all from Josh Allen. Two fumbles and a pick. And that's going to set Brady up with a short field. Third down and six as we enter the fourth quarter. Brady's going to find James White out of the backfield. He's hit hard by Jordan Poyer. But that doesn't stop him from getting the first down. Down to the 24-yard line. Second down and eight. Brady, he's going to find Dwayne Allen. And a missed tackle by Micah Hyde. Or 
Was that Micah Hyde? It might have been Jordan Poyer. I'm not sure who exactly who it was. I didn't quite catch it. But a missed tackle in the secondary. And Dwayne Allen goes into the end zone untouched. Puts the Patriots up 17 points here in the fourth quarter. Nine minutes to go. It's starting to look bleak as the Bills' undefeated season could be ended right here. Third down and two needed that one. Josh Allen can't complete. Fourth and two from their own 35, and the Bills are going to go for it. Handing to McCoy. Hitting the backfield, but he powers ahead for the first down. What a run by LaShawn McCoy. He's only got 53 yards, but that was a big one right there. Trying to keep the Bills' hopes of an undefeated season alive. Josh Allen's going deep, and look who has no one near him. Patrick Chung, the closest defender, and he was 15 yards away. LaShawn McCoy split out wide, runs a seam route right down the middle of the field, and Josh Allen drops it perfectly into the arms of LaShawn McCoy running in stride into the end zone. Big touchdown right there as the lead's down to 10. This is still not out of reach. 7.40 to go, third and 12. Brady, and it is knocked down and nearly intercepted by Tremaine Edmonds, the defensive rookie of the year candidate with a big play right there, giving Josh Allen and this offense the ball back. Second and 10, LaShawn McCoy trying to make something happen. He's got a nice run, gets six yards, and now third and four. Allen's going to find McCoy out of the backfield, just had that big touchdown catch to get the Bills within... 10 points, and that's going to get the first down. First and 10, Allen's looking for Kelvin Benjamin, who's having a pretty good game. Josh Allen's 23 of 38 for 326 and two TDs, and this one also had that pick early on. Second and one, just dumping to Taiwan Jones out of the backfield. He's going to try to jump over Patrick Chung, and Taiwan Jones It's lucky he's able to hang on to that one. I like the effort, but a dangerous play. Nothing else would come of that on the next few downs. It would just end up in a Steven Hauschka field goal as the Bills are back within a score, 34-27, 4.45 to go. As the pressure shifts to the Bills' defense, they need to get a stop. Second and 10, play action pass. Brady is going to set. He's going to fire on the corner route, corner crossing. I didn't exactly see what it is. Nonetheless, it's Julian Edelman, and you see the Bills rank first in the entire National Football League in points allowed. And that's not going well today with 34. And now here's Eric Decker with the big catch. He's down to the 33-yard line. Bills really need to force a turnover now as Brady in the pass first and five after an offsides down to the 17. And look at Rex Burkhead making moves. Absolutely juked Micah Hyde out of his shoes earlier. I'm not sure where Micah Hyde was going. And then James White hitting the backfield by Trent Murphy, but he shrugs it off and walks into the end zone. That could be the dagger as James White... Puts the Pats up 41-27 with a minute and a half to go. The Bills have two timeouts. Need to go quick. Minute 18 now. First and 10. Josh Allen. He's going to find his receiver. It's LaShawn McCoy on the post route. Now a minute left. Down to the 31-yard line. Allen's looking downfield. He's got Des Bryant on the sideline. Can he get to the end zone? No, and he couldn't get out of bounds. Bills have to take a timeout. And on second and goal, Josh Allen sneaks into the end zone for the touchdown. And we are within seven. And this is your ball game. Only one timeout. 38 seconds to go. Hauschka looking for the onside kick. And it's recovered by Eric Decker, the veteran. His first year with the Patriots makes a big play. And the New England Patriots, as weird as it say, as weird as weird as it is to say this. Hold on to upset the Buffalo Bills. The Bills lose their first game of the year as they fall to 7-1 on the season. Patriots improving to 5-2-1. You see 416 passing yards. The three turnovers by the Bills was probably the difference in this one. And the defense definitely struggled all game. You know, it was a tough one. Uh, you can't win them all. Uh, you know, <laughs> Brady just came out and played lights out. And, you know, there's just not much you can do, that, do about that. Uh, you know, when it comes down to it, Josh Allen played pretty well. There's not much you can do about the fumbles. We have a pretty porous offensive line. The one interception was a bad throw, but other than that, he looked really good. It would have been nice to see the running game going a little more, but, you know, when it doesn't, it seems that our team struggles a bit more than, you know, if, if it does. So next week, coming off a loss for the first time this season, the Bills have to take on a tough opponent in the Chicago Bears, who currently lead the NFC North. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I will see you guys next time. Some like it hot, some like it cold